Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the concept of subtraction when we see a keyword in a statement and then we have to turn that into an algebraic expression. So let's go through each one of the statements and find that keyword that helps us understand and determine that we are indeed dealing with a subtraction. When we see the number minus, that indicates subtraction. Decreased by, that would also indicate subtraction. Less than is another way that there's an indication there must be subtraction. And of course, if you see the number subtracted, that makes it quite obvious. Fewer than indicates less than indicates subtraction. And the difference also is another way of indicating subtraction because the difference is actually the result of a subtraction. But notice there seems to be something interesting about 6 and 7 and we'll deal with that when we get there. But first let's start with a number minus 6. Whenever we see the concept of a number, we want to replace that by some letter representing that number, so we can use the letter x. So we write the number x, and then we want a number minus 6. Minus means that we're going to subtract this from the number, so x minus 6. The next statement, a number decreased by 10. So again, we take an unknown quantity, let's call it x, and then we're going to decrease it by 10 by subtracting 10 from it, so that would be x minus 10. The next one says 3 less than the number. Again, the number is represented by x, and then 3 less means we're going to subtract 3 from that, so the number x, and then 3 less means minus 3. A number subtracted from 2. Now the order is different. We take 2 and subtract from that, from the 2, a number. So this becomes 2 minus x. The next statement, 4 fewer than a number. So we're going to subtract 4 from the number so that it's 4 less. And so we take a number x, and then 4 fewer means minus 4. And here we finally came to 6 and 7. The difference of 3 and a number, the difference of a number and 3. We know there's a subtraction there, so we'll put a negative sign in each case. But which is subtracted from which? Well, the easiest way to keep in mind is whatever comes first goes to the left of the negative sign, whatever comes afterwards goes to the right. So here we have the difference of 3 and a number. The 3 goes here and the unknown number goes there, so we have 3 minus x. And when they write the difference of a number and 3, since the number is represented by x, the number comes first, goes to the left, 3 goes next, goes to the right of the equal sign, so it becomes x minus 3. And that way you never have to guess. Whenever they talk about the difference, and then they give you two things, the first goes to the left, the second goes to the right of the negative sign, and that's how you know how to properly subtract one from the other. And that's how it's done.